Hi, my name is Ryan. Welcome to LiveTech, and today I'm going to be showing you Phoenix OS, which is like Remix OS, which I did a video on the other day. There will be a video somewhere on the screen to link you to that Remix OS video where I give my thoughts and opinions. But this video is going to be kind of like showing off Remix OS's younger brother. That's literally what I can call Remix, um, Remix OS. I'm getting mud muddled up now. That's what I can call Phoenix OS. Remix OS's younger brother. Born a year after. So yeah, let's go take a quick look at it. So here is Phoenix OS, and you may be saying that is a complete copy of Remix OS. Well, you're right and you're wrong. It is like Remix OS, in it's kind of got like the same idea, but it's got some few tweaks to it, and some few tweaks missing as well. By tweaks missing, what I mean is the design, and as you can see, the design, some icons and the settings look unique, the setup is definitely unique, I forgot to show you that, but if you go to this action center, all the icons look like they belong to Android, which I love because with Remix OS, most of the icons look unique to Remix OS, which I don't have a problem with. But Remix OS just didn't look like Android Lollipop, it looked like its own operating system. So, here we've got a start menu, and here is something which I like, which was, wasn't was in Remix OS. Let me try and do that. Hold on. There we go. Is this little button right here? If you press it, look at that big start menu. Bam, more like Windows 10. You've got your normal taskbar, so yeah, more like Remix OS, same design. But we've got something in the settings called Auto Run, and this allows us to kind of control which apps start when Remix OS is coming on, kind of like in Windows. So, the best way to actually describe Phoenix OS is to say that it is Remix OS's younger brother, born two months after Remix OS. Well, nearly a year, I should say. Okay, and by the way, the battery is not as bad in this as with Remix OS because Remix OS had a lot of tweaks done to it. We've also got a file manager, and what I love is this like shadow effect. Hold on, like. There's a link. Yeah, a shadow effect, kind of like you get in Windows, which has been in Windows forever. So, in the Remix OS trailer, which I w watched earlier, there was something saying people take File Manager for granted, but on Android is revolutionary. And they are right, it is revolutionary. Because look, we've got two instances of the same app open, and like you can actually drag and drop. But one difference I like about Phoenix OS is it will play videos well. I just need to find my USB. Uh, you know what, I'll be back in a minute. Wait, never mind, no need. Found my USB. So as you see there, it popped up USB storage. If we go in here and use an MP4 file, what, what is this? Uh, I don't know what this is. Ah. Okay, so there was a slight bit of lag, but it really wasn't that noticeable. Unlike Remix OS, where YouTube videos could only be played in 360. I haven't actually tested YouTube out, but considering that, I've I've got some pretty high hopes for Phoenix OS. Similar Remix OS, 
as they're kind of the same so and what's good is watch this if I quickly open up settings again and go to Wi-Fi All right, did work before but now it doesn't want to work apparently huh. nope it doesn't want to work hmm. odd but yeah it's, it is Remix OS's younger brother that's all I can say about it it's running Android 5.1.1 like you would expect Android Lollipop pretty sweet we've got this little mini game here Okay, the only difference with Remix OS is the actual desktop interface is you can't right click on the what's called the taskbar and auto hide or anything like that which is kind of a shame a shame when we see it, it's kind of a disappointment but what can we see, say, I don't think they're an actual company but, and um, if you look down here on Remix OS it will just pop up like a little menu like this but on you it actually opens up the settings which there's nothing bad about but it would look better if it did this and I like what we've done with the battery indicator I don't know if you can see that but it's got the low battery indicator from Android 5 and newer yep 9 minutes for remaining we click on there we can see more okay so where is the battery saver Does it have a battery saver? Yes, it does. Let's turn it on. Okay, nice. Battery saver works. And I don't know if this is supposed to work or not, but there is a button called tablet mode. I don't know if you can see that or not. There is a button called. Oh my god, that's much better. Tablet mode, where I think. Nope. I was wrong. Uh, it doesn't come with its own app store, which I think Remix OS did, I'm not too sure. But what's good about this is that it has something called multi-user. So in the setup you'll get your Wi-Fi, your language and then you'll be asked to enter a username, which is actually really awesome to see. You, you don't usually see that, not even on like the Android tablets. You've got a browser which is based on your Chromium project so you're getting more like a Google Chrome interface so let's try to go to XDA now look everything works like I actually tried to boot it up on my tablet it did it came to Android and then my tablet literally just went grey but I connected it to a HDMI to my monitor and Phoenix OS booted up on this tablet I'm not lying it actually booted up and everything worked as well from this tablet hardware that's the first operating system which wasn't Windows to successfully boot up on this tablet only problem was with display but even the touchscreen worked so yeah that has been a first quick look at Phoenix OS, I keep almost calling it Remix OS because it's really similar and I'm, I'm thinking of doing more videos on this soon like if it's like how good is it to get one and stuff like that but there is one major difference between Remix OS and this Remix OS there was lag like there was lag, there was slowdowns with this there is no slowdown and it loads up faster as well so yeah that has been my quick first look at phoenix os and i will see you in my next video if this video helped you in any way then don't forget to smash that like button 
click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. The channel is almost at 50 subscribers which I am grateful for and the faster I hit 50 subscribers the faster I will get my head shaved. So go on, click the subscribe button like you never have before.